Stalking the Red Bear, the true story of a U.S. Cold War submarine's covert operations against the Soviet Union, by Peter Saskin, is a gripping account of the silent underwater battle between the United States and the Soviet Union during the height of the Cold War. Saskin's book offers a detailed exploration of the strategic operations, technological advancements, and the intense psychological warfare that defined this secretive aspect of Cold War military history. The book primarily follows the U.S. Navy's Sturgeon-class nuclear-powered attack submarine known as the USS Ray, which played a critical role in intelligence-gathering missions aimed at monitoring and countering Soviet naval capabilities. The narrative provides a vivid reimagining of the experiences of the USS Ray crew as they navigate the treacherous waters of the Cold War while avoiding detection by the enemy. Saskin introduces readers to the process of stalking Soviet submarines and other naval vessels. The USS Ray and other American submarines enlisted for this purpose had the dual task of trailing Soviet submarines to learn about their capabilities and patrol routes and of placing wiretaps on undersea Soviet communication lines. The U.S. submarines were equipped with the latest technologies in sonar and other tracking systems, which allowed them to remain both elusive and perceptive in the vast underwater battleground. Throughout the book, readers learn about the evolution of submarine warfare during the Cold War. The narrative reveals technical and tactical progress, such as the development of quieter propulsion systems, the improvement of sonar detection, navigation through the use of sound surveillance system, SOSIS networks, and the utilization of advanced weaponry. These advancements were significant in maintaining the upper hand in waging underwater warfare, particularly in terms of intelligence and strategic positioning. Saskin delves into the psychological, emotional, and physical challenges faced by submariners who spent months in a contained, pressurized environment with the constant threat of discovery and the potential for nuclear conflict. The stress of potentially triggering a nuclear incident loomed over the crew as they performed risky maneuvers and gathered intel in enemy waters. This high-stakes environment demanded exceptional discipline, skill, and resolve from the submariners, who had to carry out their missions flawlessly to avoid confrontation. One of the book's central themes is the cat-and-mouse game played between U.S. and Soviet submarines. The U.S. submarines had to successfully track and listen to their Soviet counterparts without being detected themselves. This involved mastering the art of moving silently through the water and understanding the complex acoustic properties of the ocean to mask their presence. Conversely, Soviet submarines worked to evade their American pursuers and secure their own strategic advantage. As the narrative progresses, Sastjin recounts specific encounters and covert operations that highlight the tensions of the period. These accounts include descriptions of close calls and stealthy maneuvers that illustrate the skill and precision of American submariners as they navigate treacherous situations. The book also touches upon the broader political climate of the time, including the pivotal events like the Cuban Missile Crisis and how they were influenced and informed by the activities taking place beneath the surface of the oceans. The importance of maintaining a competitive edge over the Soviet Union in terms of submarine warfare reflected the broader arms race and ideological competition that defined the Cold War. Stalking the Red Bear culminates with an analysis of the impact that these secret submarine missions had on the outcome of the Cold War. Saskin argues that the intelligence gathered by submarines like the USS Ray played a pivotal role in maintaining a balance of power that ultimately prevented open conflict between the superpowers. The author provides insight into the strategic value of the operations conducted by the submarines, suggesting that the deterrent effect of this underwater espionage was a key factor in ensuring a tense but stable peace. In summarizing the book, one must appreciate how Saskin brings to life the clandestine world of Cold War submarine espionage by blending historical detail with the suspense and drama of submarine operations. He pays tribute to the bravery and expertise of the submariners whose efforts remained largely unknown to the public but were essential in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the latter half of the 20th century. Saskin's 
Stalking the Red Bear serves as a testament to the ingenuity, tenacity, and courage of submariners on both sides of the Cold War divide. Despite the dangers and the immense pressure of their assignments, these individuals executed their duties with a professionalism that not only facilitated strategic advantages for their respective nations, but also contributed, paradoxically, to maintaining a level of stability during an era fraught with the potential for nuclear disaster. The book ensures that the story of the USS Ray and its crew, as representatives of the silent service, is acknowledged for its role in one of the most tense and critical periods of modern history. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.